I've always felt that trucks are made up of teams of parts, and every team has that one unsung hero that does a ton of work, that doesn't always get the credit nor the attention it deserves. This week, we're talking about the axles. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back in. I am Josh with Premier Truck Sales and Rental. In this, we're gonna talk about the axles, front and rear, as well as the pusher that's on this truck. These really are the unsung heroes. They help with efficiency. They also make sure the power gets to the road and well, they hold everything up. As you look at these, I mentioned on a previous video, there's the Alcoa Durabright wheels on the ends of the it's not just because they're pretty, they help you save weight so you can put more on top of things in the long run. On that, the added touch of the lug covers that go on to make sure that you can spot a loosening lug is a great added touch. It's inexpensive and at a glance, you know you're not gonna be chasing one of your wheels down the road. As we move in further, these axles are rated for 46,000 pounds as the tandems, 23,000 pounds each. Inside, they've got a 456 gear ratio. What does that mean to you? That's that great balance of power and efficiency. You'll be able to cruise down the freeway sipping fuel, but if you need to pull something out of a tough spot or up a hill, you're never gonna have to worry about it. Now, what sits between the axles and the frame? That is a Chalmers suspension. Chalmers does a great job of making sure that you can stay steady side to side. You won't end up with that sway that some other suspensions end up with, but still have a nice, comfortable ride that's not gonna beat your spine to two inches shorter. The Chalmers suspension is known for very low maintenance costs and great longevity. Keep an eye on it, make sure everything's tight. This thing's probably gonna outlast some of us. On top of that, the Chalmers suspension does a great job of keeping each axle planted. It keeps the weight distributed evenly between that axle and that axle. That means better traction for you and less wear on parts. Speaking of better traction, there's a center axle disconnect as well as lockers in both the front and the rear. Once again, it's just that added thought of making sure that you're not gonna have an expensive tow bill. Now, let's move up and talk about that pusher axle. So just in front of the tandems here, we've got a 20,000 pound pusher axle. This is a true 20,000 pound pusher axle. Wheels, tires, everything like that is spec'd to make sure that if the DOT decides to pay you a visit, you're in good. With that, this is a steerable pusher axle. So this will follow along whatever direction the truck is moving. That helps to eliminate scrub for these tires, making sure that they last a lot longer for you, lowering your maintenance costs. On top of that, it helps with front tires, making sure that they don't push. It allows them to steer better when the pusher axle's down. Next up for this, also saving you on wear is obviously this is a lift axle as it's in the up position right now. The less time these tires are on the ground, obviously, the more miles they're gonna last. As soon as you put a load up there, go ahead and put them down. You can adjust the pressure right up front there. You can even lower these from in the cab. Just an added feature so that way you're not climbing around for these. On top of that, as soon as you put the truck into reverse, the axle's automatically going to lift for you. That way you're not trying to push against the caster that's built into this axle to make sure that it goes straight when you go straight. Once again, all engineered and set up, to make sure that you're gonna get the durability, longevity, and maximum load carrying capacity that you can. Next up, we're gonna be working with the front axle here. Wide base front tires, that way you're not sinking in if you're into any soft stuff. On top of that, we still got the Alcoa Durabright wheels. Just inside of those, we have disc brakes, which are now standard from Kenworth. Disc brakes actually have increased stopping power and get rid of the heat a lot better than drum brakes do. Once you drive them, you'll notice the difference with that. On top of that, 
The front axle is rated for 20,000 pounds, as are all the rest of the components collectively. Leaf springs hold it up, and we've got dual power steering gearboxes on this to make sure that we can push these wide base tires around, even if you get into the soupy stuff. So when we started talking about the axles, we mentioned how they're often the unsung heroes of the team. You've got teammates that are that strong, you've got one heck of a team. In that, talking about some other parts of that team next week. So make sure you're subscribed, that way you get notified when it comes up. If you like this, give it the thumbs up. If you have a question, by all means, put that in the comments below. As always, we'll see you next week. Stay safe out there.